Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I actually want to make a uh, updated video um, about the uh, Subcase by Unicorn Beetle, um, or Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, it's called. Um, it's actually a uh, case with a built-in screen protector. Um, and as you can see here, I actually have it on my Google Pixel 8 Pro. Um, and I also have it on my Google Pixel um, 7a, which is actually over here. Actually, this is a poetic case. Sorry about that. Um, but it's actually like the same thing. You know, it's got a built-in screen protector. Um, as you can see there, it's got a flap. Um, you know, for the, uh, keeping the dust and stuff out. Um, but I actually wanted to make a video, and you get also, you also get a, uh, a belt clip, uh, holster with the, uh, Unicorn Beetle Pro, um, case, you know, by subcase. Um, and then, you know, with the Poetic, you don't really get that, which is actually a shame, really. But, um, I don't use that anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal to me, but for some people it might be. Um, but anyway, I, let's actually talk about this video, what I actually want to talk about in this video. Um, so yesterday, um, I did a quick overview of the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and I talked a little bit about it, why I was actually upgrading from my Google Pixel 8 um, to the Google Pixel 8 Pro, basically because of, you know, um, longevity and stuff and future-proofing reasons. Um, so, you know, I have a video on my channel, you know, about that, about the overview. You know, I talked about it. Um, and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, get kind of like a quick overview of it. Um, so anyway, in that video, I actually bashed the, uh, subcase by Unicorn Beetle, um, or, you know, Unicorn, Unicorn Beetle Pro by subcase. I keep saying, you know, subcase by Unicorn Beetle, but it's actually called subcase. Um, and it's actually called the Unicorn Beetle Pro. That's the, you know, name of the case, the, you know, model of the case. But, um, anyway, I was bashing that, um, you know, because it hasn't actually worked with the Google Pixel 8, um, or the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, until, uh, last night. Um, the weird thing is I actually updated my Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, to the, uh, the April, uh, 2024 update. Um, and the weird thing is the fingerprint sensor started working. Um, so, you know, it's, it's gotta be something, um, you know, hardware, or, you know, uh, a hardware issue or something there, um, because it wasn't working on my Google Pixel 8, um, and it wasn't working on my Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, you know, when I made that video yesterday. So, um, Google, um, it, it did say something in the update about biometrics, um, an update for biometrics, but it didn't say anything about fixing biometrics. Um, it said something weird, like, uh, just an update for biometrics. I don't, I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. Um, but I updated my Google Pixel 8 Pro to the, uh, April update, um, the April 2024 update, and lo and behold, I didn't, I didn't change anything. I mean, I, I had the, uh, the screen protector mode left on, um, you know, after, uh, after I updated, you know, to the April up, update, um, but I didn't, I didn't mess with anything, um, you know, after that, so, um, I can actually show you guys that it works, and boom. See, it's working. So that's with the uh, Unicorn Beetle uh, Pro installed by Subcase. Um, as you can see there, you know, I'm not making it up. It's definitely working. Um, so I, I'm, you know, like kind of over the moon with this. I mean, boom. And it's easy to do it, too. I can do it, you know, I don't really have to press hard on it. As you can see there, you know, I just lay my finger on a little bit and it, you know, boom. I mean, it opens up, you know, that's, you know... I'm surprised. I mean, I really am. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if Google, um, you know, watched, you know, maybe my other video that I had on my YouTube channel about fixing the uh, fingerprint sensor um, or making it better. But, I mean, um, you know, I, I give whoever, you know, fix this credit because, I mean, like I said, you know, I'll do it again. Boom. Right into it. Right into it again. So... I mean, that's, that, that's a really good sign, guys. So if you guys um, are on the uh, March update um, and you're trying to use a subcase, um, you know, Unicorn Beetle Pro or a Poetic um, like I have over here, you know, and I actually did order a Poetic um, to see if that's going to work again, you know, because it works on this. Um, on my Google Pixel 7a, um, but it doesn't work on, you know, my Google Pixel 8 series, so, um, you know, maybe it was something to do with the hardware, um, you know, maybe they needed to update it or something, obviously, you know, it sure looks like that, because look, you know, like I said, boom, right into it.
And I don't even have to do it hard, you know. Normally, normally with a screen protector on, you really have to, you know, like, like press it hard. And I'm not even, you know, boom. I mean, it's right into it. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't say, oh, sorry, wrong, you know. Uh, it's not, you know, giving me an error saying, you know, can unlock phone or anything. Um, you know, it's just going, you know, right into it. Um, but one thing I do recommend, you know, um, even, even though this seems to have fixed it, um, you know, one thing I do recommend is actually going into the settings, um, and turning on screen protector mode, and I can show you guys, you can just search for it, um, screen, no, not screen timeout, uh, let me see, uh, screen protector mode, if you, if you type in screen, it'll come up, yeah, if I could spell scream, <laughs> but, uh, it, it knows what it's, you know, talking about with the, with the, you know, it knows what I'm trying to say, um, so screen protector mode, so definitely make sure that you keep that on, um, you know, with whatever screen protector you have, you know, I highly recommend keeping that on, but, you know, I'm, I'm over the moon, guys, I mean, I really am, you know, I'm, I'm just surprised that it's working, and it's working a lot better, you know, like, it's not, you know, it's not failing at all, you know, so that's, you know, that's, that's really good. I mean, that's, you know, that, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really shocked. I'm, I really am. Um, so, you know, definitely get this update, guys, because it fixes the, uh, biometrics, um, very well. So I, um, am actually going to leave this link down below in the description. This is actually my go-to case again, um, for the Google Pixel 8 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, you know, and, you know, older Google Pixel models, um, so hopefully Google doesn't screw this up, hopefully they don't mess it up, um, in another update, you know, because they're known for doing stuff like that, unfortunately, um, so hopefully it's going to continue to work, hopefully they just don't mess with it, um, to be honest, you know, hopefully they don't, um, because I really don't feel like going back to Nexnor series case, now they, they aren't bad cases, but the thing is, um, they're not like Unicorn Beetle Pro by, or, yeah, I keep saying that, they're not like sub case, um, the Unicorn Beetle Pro, where it actually has a mud flap here, or a dust flap, whatever you want to call it, um, or, you know, like Poetic, Poetic also has a, uh, dust flap there, as you can see, um, so I'm probably gonna actually try, um, to use the, uh, Poetic, because I'm actually a bigger fan of them, um, because they have more grip around the sides of the phone, and they just make a better case, in my opinion, um, I really like their kickstand, I really like, you know, um, and another big thing that I like about them, um, if you can see here, um, the camera cutout is actually, the lip is actually more in, um, than the, uh, Unicorn Beetle Pro by Subcase, um, so this is the Unicorn Beetle Pro, my Google Pixel 8 Pro there, um, and then the, uh, Pixel 7a, um, is here, so as you can see, um, you know, this is, this has got not, you know, as big of a lip around it, um, as the, uh, you know, the Poetic Revolution case does, um, so I actually ordered a, uh, Poetic Revolution case, um, you know, because I'm, I'm probably gonna switch to that, um, you know, I just, I just like their cases better, I just do for some reason, um, you know, that's just me, but, uh, you know, you guys can, you know, decide, you know, what one you like better, but I, I mean, I'd go with either one, to be honest, I mean, you know, if, if it was you, you know, if it was you guys, you know, I, I just like the, uh, Poetic Revolution case better, like I said, because it does protect the camera better, um, you know, it has a bigger lip around the camera, um, than the, uh, than the Unicorn Beetle Pro does, um, by subcase, but, you know, they're, they're both great cases, you know, they both protect the phone very well, um, the Unicorn Beetle Pro does actually, uh, have more of a grip around the sides there, um, compared to the, uh, Poetic case there, as you can see, um, it's not really, you know, as grippy, there's some grip up here, um, but it's not, you know, as grippy as the, uh, Unicorn Beetle Pro case, um, and they both have these, uh, you know, like, little things on the back there, um, you know, little bumpers, um, the, uh, Unicorn Beetle Pro does actually have six of them, uh, yeah, six of them, um, so, you know, that does, you know, help protect the phone, uh, case itself a little bit more, um, but the Poetic one has four, so that's, you know, good enough, um, you know, it's still not gonna, you know, mess it up if you put it on the table or something, um, or scratch it or anything, you know, um, and they both have, you know, a lip around the, the front of the phone, too, so if you lay it down that way, um, you know, you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, the phone, 
um, you know, the phone case itself, you know, getting scratched, the, you know, uh, the uh, TPU or whatever this is, the material um, with the built-in screen protector. Um, but I actually ordered a uh, Poetic Revolution just like this one, um, you know, for my Google Pixel 8 Pro, so I'm probably going to go with that, um, you know, and I might do a review, you know, on that, you know, I might talk about it. Um, I'm going to actually make sure it works first because that's the thing, um, you know, it's been, it's been hit and miss, um, you know, with the Google Pixel 8 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro series, um, you know, when it comes to trying to find a screen protector, um, you know, that actually works, it seems like, so, um, you know, I'm, I'm really glad, though, um, that this is working, you know, I'm, I'm glad, you know, e even if the, uh, Poetic Revolution case, um, you know, doesn't work, you know, for the Google Pixel 8, you know, Pro, um, or the Google Pixel 8, you know, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just rock this one, I'll just rock the, uh, sub case, you know, Unicorn Beetle Pro, you know, I'm not, you know, really that worried about it, but, you know, like I said, I do like the, uh, the camera, uh, you know, bump here, um, on the back, you know, the, pa the camera cutout, I should say, not the camera bump, um, I like the camera cut out, you know, this is a lot deeper, um, you know, so it's, you know, going to be protected more, um, you know, with the poetic revolution, you know, compared to the, uh, the unicorn beetle pro here. Um, but I also do have a camera, you know, protector around there, a, a tempered glass camera protector. Um, like I said, you know, I highly recommend them. Um, I actually have some over there. Um, I got a three pack of them, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, that's basically the video, um, so definitely upgrade, you know, definitely update to the, uh, you know, April 2024 20, update, um, because as you can see, you know, boom, you know, it's working, you know, it's working with the, uh, biometrics, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, really, like I said, I'm just really over the moon, I really can't believe, um, you know, that they actually fixed it, you know, they actually, um, you know, made it work, you know, with screen protectors, and it's, you know, it's not hard either, it's not hard to get into, um, you know, like I said, you know, it just goes right into it, show you guys again, you know, boom, and I, and I'm hardly even applying any presser, pre pressure, that's the thing, I mean, I'm hardly, you know, even applying pressure, so that's definitely, um, you know, a good thing, and, uh, you know, boom, I mean, a couple of times, you know, like there, I, I didn't really, you know, hit it on the nose there, so, um, you know, a couple of times, you know, and your, if your hands are wet, um, you know, or sweaty or something like that, you know, a couple of times it might not work, but, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much, uh, seamless now, so, um, that's definitely a good thing, you know, so as you can see, boom, um, so I'll leave the link down below in the description to this case, guys, the sub case, um, Unicorn Beetle Pro, you know, that's, um, you know, like I said, if the poetic case doesn't work, um, you know, with the fingerprint sensor, then I'll just rock this one, you know, because it's a really good case, like I said, um, you know, I'm not downing it by any means, but I do wish, um, you know, that they would make the, uh, camera, um, you know, cut out here a little bit deeper, um, you know, so you don't have to really, you know, worry as much, you know, like I said, compared to this one over here, um, you know, it's a lot deeper, you know, around there, um, so if the Poetic, uh, Revolution case works, you know, I'm definitely going to be rocking that, um, on my Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, so anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, you know, I'll leave the link down below in the description to this case, the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, um, for the Google Pixel 8 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro, um, but definitely make sure that you update, um, to the April update, the April 2024 update, because that's what seemed to have fixed it for me, um, and definitely make sure that you turn on screen protector mode, um, and you should be good to go, you know, with this case, so, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, um, I just wanted to get this video out there, and if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.